there has been a lot happening this week with Twitter. Well, formerly known as Twitter, now known as X, right? And on threads, I actually put out this, uh, this post because I was reading a, a TechCrunch article and it, it said, in addition to this haphazard rollout, which was part of the site referencing X, while the other part was still in, employed you to search Twitter, push a blue button to tweet. The company also didn't secure the intellectual pro property rights to the X brand. Plus, Twitter didn't get the permit to take down the Twitter sign from its San Francisco headquarters, requiring police to uh, stop the work, right? And so if you've been paying attention to X, Twitter, however you want to call it, but I'm still going to call it Twitter right now because here's the thing. If you've been paying attention to it, it really is all over the place. It made this announcement with this like old school intro logo thing. They changed it. They didn't change the, the app. They didn't change the bird yet. Then the bird uh, left. Then Android finally got a, a facelift. Then iOS got it. The thing still says tweet. I'm so confused. And so today I wanted to talk about it from rebranding from a business side and a branding side, right? What does it really take? What, like from our opinion, what should happen, not necessarily should happen, but what would be different, right? And we have to look at the reason for a rebrand. And so I was watching a interview with Elon Musk, of course, of why did he even get Twitter what was the reason? But then I came across to, uh, you know, why did he buy it? And it's actually concerning to me. We'll play it. Kind of said, I actually don't want to buy Twitter anymore. Then you changed your mind again and decided to buy it. Did well, you do that? Did you do that? I kind of had to. You, right. Did you do that because you thought that a court would make you do that? Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is the reason. Right, so you were still trying to get out of it and then you just were advised by lawyers, look, I ha you can we're, have to, we're gonna, we're, have to we're, buy this. Yes. So for me, that's concerning because you just changed the whole culture of what we know as the water cooler of our time and you didn't even want it. So what we're seeing with this rebrand is a person who didn't want the app, didn't want the, the company. So he's doing whatever he wants with it. So I guess let, let's start off with the thought process of why would we start a rebrand, right? For me, I'm thinking the audience changes, the mission changes right? The pain point changes. It's not just the logo and the website. It's not just x.com. It's not just the new X, which was done with a font pack, but that's another topic in itself. You know, um, I, I think a, a rebrand completely changes a culture. And if you create a a brand that's so strong that already has a community that already has certain rituals that are happening over and over again for years, creating a, a rebrand of something of that is going to get so many mixed feelings because was it really needed? Both me and Moose have been through some, some rebrands. And the crazy thing is I believe Certain rebrands are easier than others because for, for us, I would say, it wasn't like the brand wasn't super out there just yet. Like people knew it, there was a bit of a community, right? Um, 
you know, for me, it was beast mode going into deeper than the brand for, for Moose. It was, you know, the flight assessment program. But some people knew of it. But from a super global standpoint, it wasn't embedded in people's minds just yet. I think for me, I'm really concerned about this rebrand because you have communities that are in this app. You have people who have grown uh, a following, a business on this app. You have certain, uh, like I said, certain rituals where uh, this weekend there's a fight. People are going to go on Twitter to talk about the fight. There are some politics that get talked over there there are you know um announcements and that happen news that happen there so to change things up from what culture already knows of it i'm, I'm very confused but but moose just let me get your your opinion on it first before i go really crazy <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i mean there there's definitely one other reason why to rebrand and, and maybe more so from a business standpoint than just an additional reason altogether. But typically, and it's similar to what you said around the culture, but typically with an M&A or when you acquire a business in the case of Elon Musk or similar to the case of Elon Musk, you have to inherit everything that that business stood for previous to. And so it's funny to hear him basically admit to the fact that I did not want this, but I hate losing. And I think that's what we heard him say. And so rather than a judge force me to do something, I'd rather do something on my own terms and do whatever I want to do with it. And so what we're seeing him do here is he is reshifting the mission and everything that that company has stood for to realign with what he wants to do or what he wants to accomplish. And so that, that I think is another reason for why he's doing it, but it's also another reason why a company would rebrand. It's because they start to see that maybe their mission has changed and they want to create better alignment between themselves and the audience or the target that they're trying to approach. And so, you know, that, that in a way is also what happened with us with extreme execution and the flight assessment, because we went on a long hiatus to redevelop the technology that went along with our program simply because we wanted more control over the terminology that was used. We wanted to use language that was more in line with everyday language that our current client base was using. And also there's a, an advantage that I think you have when you have direct access to that group of audience or clientele in general. And so, you know, I looked up some of the, the average daily users on Twitter and that's a force to be reckoned with. You're talking about a platform that has 450 million active users, at least as of two, uh, 2022, when he first took over the business. And so with everything else he has going on, I think there's something that we probably don't know yet about how this will all line up together. But you know, to me, I will say, Nick's, it's starting to feel that X formerly known as Twitter or still somewhat Twitter. I don't know. I guess I'm with you on when this thing becomes official, but it's starting to feel that this is no longer a big corporation or a big platform and more of Elon Musk's personal brand, or it's a part of it, right? It feels a lot more playful because he's just shifting and changing everything in, in, in a matter of a couple of days when he went live with that most recent change. Yeah, and that's and that's the concerning part because it's like are you are you even caring about the audience are you even caring about the users that are going to be using it twitter was not making money okay twitter was not doing good i think there recently was talks about it possibly going bankrupt but with everything that's happening with twitter since elon came on with you know slashing 80 percent of the the employees and just ads has been down it's so it's concerning what's happening over there and with how this rebrand is happening there have been multiple people like all right this this is it i can't we're gonna go over here right there's other competitors between threads between blue sky between i think there's one that starts with an m and there's other places to go to, 
But it's unfortunate because all he had to do was really uphold the culture and find different ways to have his freedom of speech, have find different ways to to make it more business like. But he was like, nope, I want this to be whatever I want it to be. I bought it for this much. But it's funny because you can even take down the Twitter sign. You didn't even get your permits right. You didn't like now, of course. This is why I mentioned it in the in the what's popping section. You flashed money. Hello, creators. I got you. Don't worry about it here. Here's here's some money now. Right. Continue to stay here when, of course, uh, over on on threads, there's no way to monetize besides yourself. Uh, I don't know about Blue Sky, but it, it hasn't been popping over there too much. Right. Uh, there's that that other app for uh, which felt like black Twitter spill. There's no there's no way to monetize just yet. So you still do have brands going in and advertising over there, which creators can make some, some money. There is the blue, uh, the Twitter blue situation that is bringing some type of money as well to look at a rebrand just maybe in spite because of what, uh, Zuck did maybe just because you're just on your own agenda, you probably lost a lot of loyal followers of the actual brand that you purchased rather than like just making it a little bit better. And, and when I look at that for, for talking about rebranding and, and coming into like a personal experience, I had to rebrand from Beast Mode Digital from, from a, the community side of things to deeper than the brand one because of trademark issues. Right. Uh, I couldn't trademark it. So we were like, all right, let's let's change, change the name. Now, what was crazy, it took years for people, even though we didn't we didn't grow to what it is now. It took years for people to s stop saying Beast Mode Digital to stop when we even little things like when we changed from a Facebook group to mighty networks. Like it took a huge transition, like a year or two for people to finally get accustomed to, to the new app that we were on the, if, if little things like that takes people years, how long is it going to take for people to stop saying Twitter? How long is it going to stop for people to stop saying tweets? What is it? X is now like, it's going to you be. You don't want to be associated with X's on that. You feel me? I am done with X's. I'm good, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but that's what I'm saying. It's like it's it's embedded in our mind, and that was when it comes to branding. That is the goal. Have it so burnt in people's head that when they say, uh, you know, a tweet. People know the color, the the icon, like the, the bird was an icon. And X now is like, what? Now, granted, I'm all for change. All, I'm all for change. But at the same time, needed change is what I'm for. This feels like a selfish change for a brand that was super iconic in the social media world. Now, I'm not saying it was great in, in the time that it was, but I do believe, and this is my opinion, how the rebrand should have happened, where he should have created a whole separate app. But it's funny because he was on an interview saying, I could acquire Twitter and I could speed up X way quicker than if I was to create it on my own. So this was semi plan. I get it. But he should have created a separate app, created demand and hype over there while we already saw Twitter was dwindling down to then just kill Twitter, just get, turn off the lights of the whole thing 
and all the resources then gets transferred to X, right? It's like slowly but surely, boom. I think that would be smart. He would already have a lot of hype based off him buying Twitter, but then he doesn't do much with Twitter because he's now growing X. I think that would have been way easier for him than necessarily doing it like this because this you created brand confusion for no reason none yeah you know what you know what's interesting too is that if you if you break it down as to what's happened in the last two years or so other big corporations have changed names all right and so google went from google to the alphabet company facebook went from facebook to meta right and did this did not, this made headlines, of course. I mean, they're major corporations, probably some of the best businesses and brands in the world, but not as much heat as Twitter and X are getting now. Why? Because those companies left their product names the same. So yes, they changed their company names. This was a strategic business move. And the reason behind it was as they were expanding into other verticals, they didn't want the product that they were known for to become associated with what their next product is going to be that actually was going to create brand confusion for them. And so for those of you listening or watching, just know that there are ways and times in which a, a rebrand is necessary and healthy. If your company and brand is going so well and you want to actually break away from the thing that you've been known for, it makes sense to make some adjustments to your brand name or your business name, et cetera, because you want to introduce yourself to a new audience in a way that people can interact with it without the association that they made with you in your previous brands or companies, right? And so the reason why this is breaking headlines and, and for us, from a review standpoint, we're looking at it and saying, well, we don't know how much sense this makes. Now, I gotta be honest, Nixon, I'll kind of give almost a, a slightly different view to what you gave. I actually think what he's doing from a business standpoint, it makes sense. Now look, it's cutthroat. It is very selfish. It does not include the audience or the creators so that they too can contribute to what is the new Twitter or this X that is being developed. In a business, you don't want to die a slow death. If you're going to make a change, you want to make your change rather quickly instead of bleeding your way for six to 10 months into the change that you're about to make. And so sometimes when you know you have to make a do or die decision, do it quickly instead of giving yourself time to bleed out for 10, 12 months. And you now have almost this complete negative association that people tie back to you in the marketplace. So I think from a business standpoint, for just comparing black and white to it, X's and O's in terms of what he wants to do, what his vision was for X as a company or as a brand previous to PayPal, it makes sense, right? What doesn't make sense is how much equity he's losing after this investment because of these changes. Now, from a technical standpoint, and you spoke to it as well, but imagine all of the backlinks from an, from an SEO standpoint, all the backlinks that I, I've had it on my website, I'm sure you've had it on some of your websites where you link Twitter to another platform or a website. These are all backlinks that are SEO friendly that give a brand tremendous equity in the marketplace and it helps from an advertising standpoint. And so we've seen ad revenue from, or from, from a company standpoint, step away from Twitter because of Elon's aggressive stance on free speech and things of that nature. So brands have started pulling their dollars off the platform, but this is going to hurt it even more because you don't have that SEO to back it with all of the different businesses. So. That's, that's, that's going to be something I think from a technical standpoint that will hurt the company to some extent as well, but you really won't know to what extent, you know, and until this, this switch or this move fully, fully marinates and, and, and becomes true. I am mad at like, Nick is not feeling it. I, Nick is not feeling so, it. Says, so, no, 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 so here's the thing. So here's the thing. <laughs> you, it made sense what you said. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm with that. Right. But I just. I think it's sloppy. I think it's just not needed, but you got me at the whole don't want to die a slow death. I get that. I understand that part. It's like, dramatic. Bra you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put, brands brands do die. Lie. I get it. But like, and, and the crazy thing is I, I believe that Twitter was 
beginning, even though a, a lot of people left, I do feel that there was a lot more activity that was happening too. Regardless if it was positive activity or not, because there has been a lot of uh, more racist situations being said because it's not a censored pla platform. But regardless, there was a lot more activity that was starting to happen compared to the past years. So I, I don't know if killing it, a s sudden death made sense, but I get it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, from, a, from a different standpoint, what does Elon plan to do with X, right? Uh, what we clearly know of Twitter is, is done, but what does he plan on doing? And I found these clips that explain his, his uh, mission now of what he's going to do. And I find it a little bit funny because we give another CEO so much crap for copying, but... He's doing, let's just listen. I mean, we don't even have uh, a, 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 an app that's as good as WeChat in China. Uh, and like in China, you can like live on WeChat basically. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's like, yeah, everyone, everyone's like, been there. like you live on WeChat, you do payments, you do everything. It's like, mm -hmm. yep. it's great. Mm -hmm. Basically, WeChat's kick ass. Um, and we don't have anything like WeChat outside of China. So I was like, my idea would be like, how about if we just copy WeChat? If, if done right, X would be, would, would serve people's financial needs to such a degree that over time, it would become, I don't know, maybe half of the global financial system. First off, why am I going on X or Twitter for an everything bagel? Like, why am I going to talk to you, pay you, uh, check my balance? Like, what, what, are we, what are we talking about? Why is, that's not even needed. This is where, when we're talking about a rebrand, did you even ask the audience what they want? Like, did you ask? Like, what is over there is the over there because they may not have other ways like a PayPal, like a Cash App, like Vimeo. Like, they, there may not be other ways over there. They are content and happy with WeChat. Cool. Stay there, right? Uh, great app, by the way. But what I'm saying with this is like, you are forcing people and it may not work for you. So is this your way? And I don't think it is, but is this your way of like, okay, they didn't listen to me over at PayPal because he was do he was trying to do the same thing at PayPal. Yo, we're gonna call it X. And they kicked him out. They kicked him out because they wanted because he wanted to call the thing X. We're like, no. And and this is my personal opinion. And other people's opinion that I've been saying, I think of X, I don't think of anything good. You put X, I'm thinking not the greatest. What is God. happening? Yeah, that's you, not a word you want to be associated with. Right. Yeah. Like, and that was one of the main reasons why PayPal didn't go for it because it is associated with not appropriate situations. Okay, cool, whatever. That's one. Two, we give so much crap to uh, Meta's uh, CEO for copying every single feature, every single platform, even Twitter, copying that one to find out that Elon is doing the same exact thing. Oh, well, WeChat works. Why don't we just create it over here? The difference is that that guy over there, he steals everything US based. I'm going overseas and stealing their stuff and bringing it over here. What? Like, keep the same energy. If we give Zuck so much crap for copying, we got to give Elon the same energy. This is my opinion. Now, I would love to know with knowing the real reason of like, okay, you're copying this one. You're trying to make this a super financial thing of... You couldn't do this in PayPal. Now you found something that has nothing to do with that, but now you're going to transform that into your original reason of X. What's your what's your thoughts now with from the business side? I have to start by saying and and continuing to echo what I said uh, after the first clip 
like that. I think this is horrible from a branding standpoint. I mean, even when you think about this, wanting to integrate all of the different things onto one platform, uh, payments, banking, social media, all these different things, right? It really violates the number one, probably fundamental branding and marketing rule, which is identifying one audience, right? Like the idea of just focusing on one person and trying to meet the needs of that person. And so to integrate all of these different things into one, at least in the beginning, I don't think it's true because someone might be listening and saying, well, that's not true because there's Facebook market now and they sell and buy stuff on that platform. Yeah, but it didn't start off as that, right? Like Facebook started strictly as a social media platform, more specifically for a demographic of college students. And then it began to expand. We think of LinkedIn, we immediately think of social media for professionals, right? And so even Instagram, it started off strictly as a photo sharing social media app. And so I think from a, for a lot of these, for a lot of these various reasons, for a lot of those reasons, this move of wanting to activate all of these features at once, it's going to ruin things from a brand, a brand standpoint. And of course, if it ruins it from a brand standpoint, it's going to have to spill over and affect the business. There's a lot of trust that Elon is going to have to recuperate, especially when you're talking about wanting to introduce payments and banking. The minute you start talking or messing with people's money, trust becomes a very necessary ingredient for things to be successful within that equation. And so you are probably swaying with the trust of about 450 million people. Those are the daily active users, at least as of 2022 on Twitter. And so that's a lot of people who you risk losing their trust in because you know you want to activate your own dreams and goals. And by the way, I'm all for running with your own dreams and goals. I, 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 I just said literally from a business standpoint, I can see why the sudden change, but to go off into a di diverse wide array of things into one platform, not in the beginning, not in the beginning. I can't, I can't see it. I can't see it going well. So what is the beginning to you? Cause I do believe that that particular part of the financial situation probably won't start for another five to six years, possibly, you know, I don't, I don't, it, it, it is weird because why would you want to put that in social media when for instance, and, and maybe because he's like, well, he's not me when Zuck has tried to do Facebook payments or meta payments. And I really haven't heard that really popping as much as the announcement of that really happening. So if we are so used to the way we do things with payments, like you said, especially when it comes to where we trust our, our money, why would we trust you? We trust you with Tesla. Okay. We trust you with Tesla. SpaceX. Cool. Like we're not going to trust, uh, Jeff Bezos really doing it. And, and the Richard guy, you know, we're not really going to trust them, but we trust you because you have, you know, you've you've had some skin in the game with SpaceX and all the anything other X's that you have, the the Model X on Tesla, cool, <laughs> right? We trust you with those. We X's. trust you with those. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm not That's trusting hilarious. you with X money. And what's funny is that he announced. I don't know if he's like drowning his own news. But he announced the X AI and didn't hear anything else about it because he's been so busy rebranding Twitter, which was supposed to die. Like it was supposed to die. It was fine. Like, just let it go. What, what, what do you you made a mistake? You didn't want to get hit with legal situations. You paid a nice, costly price. And now you're changing it into something we I don't know. I just like you said. From a branding standpoint, it's horrible. From a business, it makes sense. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think whatever. we can agree on that. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let us know what you think about the uh, the rebrand of Twitter, a.k.a. X. Um, everything from, did they do it right? Did they not? Do you understand the mission? Do not. Did they care about the audience? Did they not? Whatever. Is it good for the business side? Is it not? Let us know. All right. Whatever platform that you feel comfortable letting us know in, 
please do that, right? 